All right, time to head back out to the Earth Cave. Yeah, it's a long way away, isn't it? <laughs> we were here before. Two episodes ago, we went down to this cave, and we were able to progress about halfway through it before we ran into a roadblock. We killed the boss, or a mini-boss of some kind, and then we had to... Uh, we picked up the Star Ruby, and then we had to take that Star Ruby in the following episode to another dungeon, <laughs> another cave, and give it to a giant. And then that giant uh, ate it, <laughs> let us pass, and then we proceeded... Um, I, this is a pain in the ass layout. <laughs> then we got a stick, which helps us uh, somewhere else. Long story short there, we have everything we need, I think anyway, to proceed into this dungeon and save that nearby town. They were blaming it on the vampire. The vampire was apparently just a minion. It used to be, well, it would be nowadays anyway, or anything after, say, um... Okay, so... Right above us is actually where we need to go, so we just need to go the long way around. Nowadays, the stories would be a little bit more complex with something like that. You would have a secondary villain who would sort of hog the spotlight for a little bit of time, but once defeated, it would be revealed that there was another villain behind the scenes pulling the strings, but you'd at very least, you would have some level of kind of characterization of that secondary villain. Here, all we had was one line of dialogue or monologue, I guess, really, from the vampire. Then we fought it, killed it, then moved on and then had no nothing to do there. Wasn't even much of a clue of what to do with the ruby, although back at the town, they did say that giants like to eat rocked jewels and all that. So that's your clue there. Although, I guess if you didn't go to the the uh, giant's cave first, you wouldn't have had the context of what they're talking about. And, oh, stairs. Alright, so we are in cave number four. Not exactly a straight shot, but there are two. Alright, so there's a door down that way and there's a door up north. The southern door has got to be just a treasure chest. So let's head there first. Might be something good. Probably a piece of armor that I already bought. Eh. Just trying to find the most efficient way. Everything is built like a maze. Which makes all the dungeons actually pretty short. But they're expecting you to bumble around in here for a while before you find your way through. Which is, I'm sure, what would happen if I weren't checking a map. Which was unlikely to have been in the original game. Monsters! What do we got? Uh, it's a preemptive strike, so I might as well just... You know, go in here just guns a -blazing. Yeah, no, I took no damage. <laughs> oh, tent. Monsters! Same thing, only not a preemptive strike, but I'm gonna do the same crap. What is that? Blink. Yeah, well, it... Maybe it was charging up for an attack. I don't know. Money. Monsters! Let's just get through this. <laughs> nice efficient attacks they did there. They grouped up appropriately. Mithril shield. I do not have a mithril shield. Oh, nothing but gains. Nothing but gains. Nice. I don't know how many floors this has. Hopefully I'm on the last one.
and I mean, well, I mean, last one as in this is the last one. Hmm. All right, so I see two options. There's the door there, which may just lead the treasure chest. There's also this dead end up here that looks like an area where we'll encounter a character. So I'm going to head to what I think is the treasure room first. There's a lot of empty space in this area, too. Probably just to get you lost. Of course, with my map, I'm, that's not going to happen. With my first trip into this dungeon, I forgot the map was a thing. So I didn't use it. <laughs> oh, okay, this looks like this is the end boss. So let me just ensure my characters are healed up. That ought to be good enough. Oh, it's some kind of a lich. Oh, it is a lich. <laughs> Fiend of Earth. Um. Okay, let's just smack this thing. That is a... That is definitely an undead enemy, so I can use Vox and just... Instantly kills all enemies. That ne never works. Hit it with everything you got as quickly as possible. Damage! Haste! Oh, he sped himself up. Not doing a lot of damage there. That did. Oh, nice. And you... Maybe I can slow it back down. If it can speed up, I can slow it down. And I guess maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> Six hits. Barely any damage. Missed. It's weird. The animation only went over Cloud, but everybody else... It missed. It didn't even affect Cloud at all. Riku got... <laughs> Sleeped by it. Honestly, Vivi should be hasting himself here. Instead of Yuna. Capable of more damage output. There's only so many of these I can cast anyhow. Mm -hmm. And it's dead. Put way more effort into that than I needed to. I was prepping for the fight. I didn't even take any damage, did I? I took no damage in that fight. I don't remember taking any damage. And I'm like casting haste and it didn't matter. <laughs> okay. And what's this? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, it's a teleport thingy. You know, I did pick up a teleport spell, didn't I? Alright, let's head back to whatever that town is called. See if there's any change there, because they were bitching about their town dying and all that. I was so conservative with my magic usage on my way into that dungeon that I barely used any spells expecting a hard fight. So, I'm just throwing them out like crazy on my way back to town. Um, um, come on now. Oh, is it? Doesn't look it. 
Why are there freaking gravestones all- Your whole fucking town is surrounded by gravestones. Alright, so I- I killed the dude. Do I need to not go here? Yeah, inconceivable. It's got to be a reference to Princess Bride, right? All right, let's rest. And then I'll head back over to that sage's cave. I'm looking for something to indicate that I've progressed. All right, I jumped straight there, so you're not watching me get into a bunch of stupid fights. What do you got for me, Sage? Ah, oh, God, he had nothing to say. All right, so... <laughs> I killed the boss, and I, I did the dungeon, so I clearly achieved something. Although I gotta figure out what that is. Maybe I should just move on and try exploring somewhere else. But, since I did something, that's an episode, right? Right.